The man who wrote the text of this hymn from Psalm 104, Sir Robert Grant, was a man acquainted with royalty and nobility, himself being noble. His father was the chairman of the East India Company, and Sir Robert was a member of the Scottish Parliament. He was also the governor of Bombay, India, until his death at the age of 59. So the full impact of the line he wrote in this hymn should hit you, frail children of dust, feeble as frail. While his earthly station was high, he understood his station in light of eternal God. As a result, throughout his life, he supported missionary endeavors in India and founded a medical college in Bombay. In another highlight in this hymn is the end of that same verse where Grant moves from God's transcendence to his personal relationship with his people, maker, defender, redeemer, friend. So as we sing this song, I know it's based on Psalm 104, but we just read that one for how great is our God. So let's consider Psalm 47. Clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with a jubilant cry. For the Lord, the Most High, is awe-inspiring, a great king over all the earth. He subdues peoples under us and nations under our feet. He chooses for us our inheritance, the pride of Jacob whom he loves. God ascends among shouts of joy, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praise to God, sing praise, sing praise to our King, sing praise. Sing a song of wisdom, for God is King of the whole earth. God reigns over the nations, God is seated on his holy throne. The nobles of the peoples have assembled with the people of the God of Abraham. For the leaders of the earth belong to God, he is greatly exalted. Oh, worship the King, all glorious above, and gratefully sing His wonderful love. Our shield and defender, the Ancient of Days, pavilion in splendor and girded with praise. Oh, tell of His might, oh, sing of His grace. of wrath the deep thunder clouds form and dark is his path on the wings of the storm thy bountiful care what tongue can recite it breathes in the air it shines in the night it streams from the hills it descends to the plain and sweetly distills in the dew and the rain. Frail children of dust and feeble as frail, in thee do we trust, nor find thee to fail. Thy mercies, how tender, how firm to the end, our may 